What is good in your family? It's Ray J back with another video. And this one, I want to break down what's going on with the overall market, what you should be watching for moving forward. I'm also going to break down what's going on with NEO, Tesla, Spy, NVIDIA, and a couple of other tickers. Why tomorrow is going to be a very important day as we have CPI coming out and how CPI may affect NEO based off the current trend. But before I break anything down about all this information, before I get into any more details, let me just mention a couple of things. I am firstly not a financial planner, so take none of this as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link, which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Weeble, the link down below and deposit any amount of money into the account, you are guaranteed up to 12 free stocks. The offer ends in just about two days, so check it out before they run out. Anyways, let's break down what's going on with the overall market. So when it comes to NEO, this thing was up 2.32% for the day, holding up quite decently. But the real question is, how on earth will this thing move and will this thing continue to push up? The answer is, guys, I can't really give you guys anything too precise because it all depends on CPI. I can't make any promises about what NEO is going to do. I do want to note that looking at Tesla and Apple, we are looking a little bit more bearish from a technical standpoint, but technicals are only part of the picture because what matters more is going to be what happens with CPI. So now let's talk about how today went in CPI before I break down anything about NEO and the charts. Now, when it comes to Apple, they had their big events today. Apple ended up sinking despite some pretty good news that came out, at least overall. Uh, looking at their new technologies, they look very, very awesome. The iPhone 15 has these new features, which are very cool. The new Apple Watches were announced, and they have very powerful uh, GPUs, not to mention uh, other functionalities, which I thought was very, very awesome. This was great for them, but the share price still dropped nonetheless, which is what tends to happen after events like this. And that doesn't guarantee anything, even though Apple's looking kind of weak, we will see what happens tomorrow. Now, for the whole market, including NEO, we have CPI coming out tomorrow, one hour before the market opens. There are two numbers you need to be watching for uh, the most, and that's going to be the inflation rate year over year. We're expecting it to be between 35 to 3.6%. And we also have core inflation year over year, which is expected to be between 4.3 uh, to 4.4%. So what does this mean? We basically want CPI to be around uh, basically 3.6% or lower, less than that. And that is going to be good for the markets. If it's 3.7% or higher, this is the overall CPI that I'm referring to. That is going to be bad for the markets. If it's 3.7% or higher tomorrow, make sure you're prepared and you watch this one hour before the market opens. For core, which is also coming out at the same time, you want this to be 4.4% or less. If it's 4.5% or higher, that's going to be bearish for the stock market, okay? So I hope that's as clear as possible. CPI is going to play a very big role in what happens to the market for tomorrow. Looking at the current trends, you can see that the blue line right here shows CPI had a slight increase in July. So for this next report that's coming out for the month of August, we're going to find out if this is going to continue to go up or not. We're expecting this to continue to go up, but the question is to what, ex what extent. We're also expecting core to continue to decline. We'll see if that happens. That's going to dictate how the whole market moves. The data we have is suggesting that CPI is going to continue to drop, but because of energy prices, uh, the overall CPI could uh, end up going up. But the other factors, like looking at core, that is what could be going down. So that's what I meant to say in the beginning. Uh, as of right now, we're just going to be watching to see it for tomorrow. I mean, there is a reason why people call it the CPI because it's very easy for these numbers to be manipulated. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with the report. When it comes to NEO, there was a lot of talk about the new refreshed EC6 SUV coming out on September 15th. And as a result, I told you NEO should bounce very soon. And that's almost exactly what happened to NEO. NEO also has a buy rating from Deutsche Bank. The price to ratio is bouncing as NEO is gaining some relative strength. And even though I do talk about these numbers daily, they don't really matter for tomorrow because it depends on CPI. The shorting on NEO has also decreased as the volume is only 38 million. So things are looking quite good for them. Uh, looking at NEO, you know, when you look at the charts, this chart's looking kind of in the middle, not too bad. I just want to mention that on the four hour time frame, we have an uptrend that's being respected, right? NEO looks more bullish on the four hour. It's trying to push towards 11.14. And the odds do favor that based off technicals, but I can't promise anything because it depends on CPI. If we get a hot CPI, if CPI is bad, we could see Neo come back down to $10 flat or 9.9 .9 if it's a really, really bad CPI. If CPI is a good number, if it's lower than expected, I already went over the scenarios, we could see Neo push towards 11.4. If we get a good CPI for tomorrow, that's going to be very telling about the overall economy and et cetera. 
A good CPI is going to launch SPY towards 448 or higher. We could even push towards 450. We could see a very, very nice move to the upside if that's the case. Looking at the current technicals, it is still establishing higher highs and higher lows. So it does look a little bit more decent. It's getting very tight right now. You guys can see it's getting tight. It's getting ready for that big move. And we're just going to have to wait and see when it comes out. A bad CPI that's hotter than expected. Right, if CPI is very hot, if core is hot, we're going to see you know SPY start tanking towards 440. That's going to be very telling. Now, from a technical standpoint, Tesla looks more bearish. It looks like it's going to start sinking towards, I would say, 260. Uh, sorry, 260 flat or so. If you look at Tesla, you know, even though the odds favor the downside, I'm not going to be too fixated and too worried about that solely. It's still possible for it to bounce unexpectedly. Uh, the odds do favor it coming down, but I just want to note that it depends on CPI, of course. That's going to be another big factor. A decent CPI will push Tesla towards 272 at least. Uh, we could see a nice five-point move to the upside at the very least. Tesla should bounce if we get a good CPI. If CPI is a little hot or there's some kind of bad news for Tesla, it's going to come all the way down to about 260 flat and possibly 255, which is where our 50 happens to be, the 50 EMA. My guts is telling me it looks a little bit more bearish, but I just want to be open-minded because it depends on CPI. We had a bearish divergence that developed today on the RSI. So, you know, the odds do favor more downside, but just to be safe, just to be clear, and just to be honest with everyone, it all depends on CPI. I think that's going to be a bigger factor. So just wait and see on that. For Apple stock, from a technical standpoint, there could be a possible head and shoulders that developed on it. And we could see Apple get a rug pull. There, the odds do favor that. There is going to likely be downside all the way down to the low 170s. We could see a big drop on Apple, which could sink the markets. There's a risk of this, but can I promise that this will happen? The answer is no. I can't promise this. No promises could be made, but the odds do favor downside just looking at the current technicals. Okay, why do I say I can't promise anything? Because nothing in the market is guaranteed and it depends on CPI. Who knows what's going to happen? But this is looking a little bit more bearish, so the odds do favor some more bearish price action. On the QQQ, you know, there's also like this, technically there's like a slanted head and shoulders, but it's not as clean as Apple's. I think the odds favor a retest of like 370, maybe it coming a little bit lower. We could see some downside, but I just want to be safe and open-minded. Uh, we're going to be watching to see at 368 to see if that holds or not. But besides that, I mean, we just want to be open-minded. We want to see what happens. If we bounce, 378 being retested is possible. If we get a rug pull, 370 to 368 could be tested. And it could start sinking right back down towards like, you know, the mid 360s. The odds favor downside, but just to be honest, you never know. You want to be open-minded just in case. NVIDIA is looking more uh, weak in my opinion. When you look at the four hour, it's still favoring the bears a bit more. It's continuing to downtrend. It's not getting a nice rebound and it's looking weak on a daily basis. Now, this was a slanted head and shoulders. This could drag NVIDIA lower and lower and lower towards this like 425 area. But, but we're, we're going to see what CPI causes before we make any claims about that. A good CPI could launch this towards 456. A bad CPI is going to cause a rug pull and cause NVIDIA to tank towards 440. NVIDIA looks more bearish. It looks like the odds favor 440 or less than that. But just to be honest with everyone, I'm always open-minded. I know I keep repeating that, but I'm always going to be open-minded just to be safe. So for NEO, okay, considering all these other factors, even though it's looking a little bit more bullish on a technical standpoint, there's a chance there could be a slight drop to like 10.3 to $10 if we do get a hot CPI. Uh, it could be trying to establish, could this be like an inverse head and shoulders? There's a possibility of that, but uh, it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to worry about any patterns. For now, we're just going to wait for CPI and that's going to determine where it goes. So tomorrow's a big day and whatever happens with CPI is going to dictate the Fed's policies. All right, so that's what's going to be very important. I thank you all so much for listening. Have a great day. Remain calm, cool, and collected, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you and peace out.